everyone welcome back to my channel I'm making a beef and veggie stir fry so hit that subscribe button and watch me cook start off by making your rice first this dinner will only take minutes to make once everything is prepped let's start by cutting our veggies to keep your carrots from rolling around just slice one part of it so it's flat and when you lay it down it'll be easier to slice Slice your green onions into two inch pieces. Save a part of the green and just chop them up really small so you can use it to garnish your plate later. Again, same thing with mushrooms, just slice them. And the same thing with your onions as well, just slice them thinly. I use the jalapeno, but you can skip this part if uh, you want it more mild. I bought my meat pre-cut thinly like this. You can ask your butcher to do it for you or you can just do it yourself at home. Just make sure your meat's a little bit frozen so it'll be easier to slice. But cut these into thin strips. Now I'm making enough for four, so I needed two teaspoons of sesame oil in a large skillet. We're gonna cook this over high heat. Just throw your meat and your garlic and onions into it and just stir it around for a few minutes. Make sure you separate any meat that are stuck together and some of the onions as well too. And cook this until your onions are almost translucent. Once you've mixed this up for a little bit, go ahead and add your salt into this and combine this well. Continue constantly stirring. Except for the green onions we chopped up earlier, go ahead and throw everything else into the pan. We want this to continue cooking until our vegetables become soft and tender. Now grab your ground black pepper and just add about a half a teaspoon's worth in, or whatever to taste that you'd like. Again, make sure you're just mixing everything up to combine all the ingredients. I'm using a gluten-free oyster sauce about two tablespoons worth. Just give this a good stir into everything and then go ahead and get your chicken broth and your potato starch ready. I use two cups of chicken broth, low sodium. You don't want any other flavor in there and the potato starch, about four teaspoons. Mix it all up really well before you pour it into your pan and let this simmer for a few minutes so that the broth can thicken. It's not gonna be really thick. It's gonna just be a little bit thicker than water. Go ahead and get your bowl of rice plate this on top of it and serve immediately. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.